Hello there again, it's uh, Benjamin. I'm there. I'm back with yet another I got a parcel today. Well, I must be truthful, not exactly today, but over the past what, um, two weeks or so. Um, got three separate items to show you, two of the model kits, two, and one of them, uh, sort of like, an additional thing which I'm going to be adding to two the model kits that I'm currently planning to build. One of them I'm currently building, and the second one is one of the ones I got a package today. Anyway, on with the first thing the uh, Porsche GT2. Now, I haven't done as much, excuse me, I haven't done as much progress as I would have liked to have done in the past. Uh, a couple of weeks or so because it's you know you, you know how work commitments come to the fore sometimes and uh, it makes it a little bit tricky sometimes to actually do anything however um, I'm going to show the body shell and here she is and a plum for black and I've completely gone off the idea of having chrome put on it um, in a big way. It's going to be mostly um, black and I've decided to do the um, actually actual rims in, in the red. So, because I actually saw a Porsche with in black with some red rims and they look quite nice. So, I'll first of all show you. Now, as you see, that is uh, one of the anime characters. I previously used this set on um, Skyline, which was um, pretty good. So I decided to get it again on here. Now you can also see there's a few um, bits and pieces at the bottom there. You know, there's this, the red one, Superman, and just below the face, you might not be able to see it very well. There's a blue one with Volks um, racing on there. It's not very clear. Um, also on the back, I've um, got a, another one. And also on the sides here, I'll get it in the camera shot. There we are. Um, I've, uh, I've always liked these decals. Since I found them, I've loved them. Uh, I might get another set of them. Oh, look, that's better. But um, it's going well so far with the body shell. Also today, um, I've got a sprue here. The brake discs. Now, somebody suggested to me to actually drill them out. So I thought, okay. So. If you look carefully, and I'm going to have to disappear here in a minute, not a big deal. As you can see, the brake discs have been drilled out where the holes are, and I think that's going to add a, a, a bit more added realism. Now, I haven't actually tidied them up yet, but um, I intend to do that in the next day or so and um, we drilled them and yes it was a complete pain and yes many people might say what's the point but sometimes if you don't give it a go you don't know anyway that's the Porsche in this rib now on with the packages now I'm going to show you the this item first this is an item which I've never used before, but I've seen here and there on eBay and uh, on model making sites here and there. So I thought I'd give it a go, see if I can buy one, bought one, got it, obviously, and thought I would incorporate it into two cars, two cars, the Porsche and the other car I'm going to show you in a second, and it is this a two pack nitrous set. 
Now, this is only the bottles and the, um, I don't know what they call it, the harness or some such, you know. Yeah, any ideas? Um, it doesn't come with the valve and it doesn't come with the braided line. I've got some braided line, but um, I'm not too sure if it's um, proper scale. But look, I'm going to give this a go. Never really used one of these things before, but I have used uh, Photo Etch before. But I do have to get a new set of pliers. Um, I, s I can't remember what they're called offhand, but there's a certain type of plier you can get which has got no teeth on it. I think it's Snipe or something like that. Um, and, well, that's the nose bottles done. Looking forward to using these, um, especially on the Porsche. Right, I'm going to leave the car till last, and I'm going to show you this. Now this is going to be my next build after the Porsche. I was going to do the car, but this one has been sort of a love for me. And I've wanted to do one of these for a while. And it is a bike. And it's a Ravel bike, not a Tamiya one this time around. And it's this little baby, the Wild Aces Chopper. Now this one, um, sorry, I've been looking around on the internet on uh, Google Images, etc., etc., at um, the different styles that they've done, and. There's been quite a few done in the actual photo itself, some of the ultimate decals, and some completely different altogether. I'm going to go for the last section, completely different altogether from what is here. Um, excuse me, I'm just getting a bit... I've recently hurt my foot, so you have to bear with me, it's a bit painful. But. Um, I'm going to go with something completely different and I have, I've decided to do it in my favourite um, colours from my, one of my favourite superheroes or heroines rather and I'm not going to give any sort of like um, clues to who or whosoever that is you'll be able to tell who she is by merely the colours I'll be using on this there's only basically three colours apart from the chrome and I'm going to be adding a few extra bits and pieces to this kit and hopefully it should look okay for, for instance I mean on this kit you don't get any brake lines full stop so how are you going to stop the bike? Put your feet out. So that's going to be the first major thing to tackle. And there are placements. I think you can put tiny little bits of wire in to actually um, put the brake discs um, and the calipers together, so to speak. You can actually connect them up with the wire. And it will look pretty good, I suppose, because I'll be using uh, some braided wire for that. And I suppose most of the actual chrome work, I'm going to be leaving chrome. So it'll look pretty funky. I hope, anyway. That's, that's, that's the sort of like impression I'm trying to give across, either way. And who knows, I might pull it off. And it'll look pretty good. But I'm definitely going to show this when it's finished, um, as with all my other model kits now, because some people have um, got back to me on Facebook and private messages to say, how come you never put your work up? How come it takes you a long time? Well, you know, it does. And that's beginning, middle and end of it. So, I'm sorry. But let's get rid of this. Now this little baby is... I think if if you're a fan of the genre, you'll 
instantly recognise this car. It was made famous in one film and I believe it wasn't used much in that film but it, I, I kind of like the car, this car over another one of the cars in it and it is Arashima FD3S RX7 with a vertex body kit there we go, there we are, that's a bit better and it's from, as you can see Arashima Aoshima. Never done a car kit of theirs before. So I'm going to take this out and show you all the bits. Because this is a funky car. Now, the instruction manual. Good set down of pieces. Also used and unused. Now, I don't know whether this has got anything to do with the kit. But I don't think so. Now, here's your decals. Now, you can see that you've got quite a lot of sponsorship decals on there. And I intend to use all of them. Why not? And you've also got um, your um, masking for the uh, clear parts. Well, the windows anyway. That's a good little addition. Not many people do that. But I think for this one they went a little bit sensible, so to speak. Right, what everybody wants us to look at first, and always first, is the body shell. So... Oh, you might hear in the background I've got a fan on because it's absolutely stifling tonight, or this morning. Here's the body shell. Now, I've not done many Aoshima cars, but I've done quite a few Tamiya ones, and uh, the other ones, etc, etc, you know. And I have got to say, this is an absolutely fantastically moulded body shell. I cannot find many mould lines anywhere at all on this. There's probably just tiniest little ones here and on the other side, and that is it. Possibly also here, but that's could just be part of the design. I'm not 100% sure. I'll probably have to do a little bit more study on this, see what other people have put put out. Not put that there and. As you can see, by comparison with the Porsche body shell, that's quite a good size. Because this car is going to be accompanying the Porsche. So I'm going to do a little dio with it. At least that's the idea. Okay. Now we'll do the base, the chassis. And there's the I guess I have to say it, Wankel engine. No laughing please, please. No laughing people. And pretty much everything else is, if I get it, uh, in the WD, pretty much everything else is nicely um, moulded in there. Especially the fuel tank, that's a good bit of work. It does look nice and tight. The radiator is nice and tight on there as well, see. It's a really nicely done chassis. Not many people take much notice of that because you don't see the chassis. It doesn't mean it doesn't excuse them. It doesn't mean it doesn't excuse them for making a, uh, a hash job. Okay, these are the vertex parts. The non -stand no, I must set my mind that there are some standard parts and non-standard parts on this. So this is basically the, the, the standard Aoshima RX-7 with vertex parts on it. Now, these are the Volks rims. 
exquisitely done. Now I've seen the real ones and these boys are practically just miniature versions obviously as you would expect but they are uh, that's so well done it's, it's just you, you can't fault it but it looks like it looks like um, Ashima put a lot of trouble into this car I mean a lot of trouble into this car and there's the front bumper and the rear bumper now this rear bumper I haven't 100% quite figured how you put it on yet but um, I think I'll get there and the front bumper is quite simple two little pegs at the front there see can't be simpler tyres I think they're based after some uh, Toyo I'm not too sure but I think they're Toyo same as the um, what's on the decals at least I'm 80% certain <coughs> so this, basically this is your standard clear parts here and the big, big rack and there's your smaller smaller one here these are all the more up parts and uh, yeah that's a pretty nice parts there also this is much much better than the Tamiya because the Tamiya one um, when I did it didn't have these little tiny, you can just about see it, these little tiny bits. You had to sort of put, you put a decal on it, and I didn't like that too much. But a bit of, I don't know, clear black over the top of that, smoke with the appropriate colours behind. That would work a treat. And here's some alternate parts. And this is the only, for me, downside of the kit. The brake discs. They're solid. There's no divots to help you sort of like drill into them. I'm going into the anal. We're talking severe anal territory now, aren't we? Hey, drilling out. <laughs> drilling out discs on cars. I thought it was bad enough on bikes. But um these are mostly all the alternate parts for the vertex for the alternate you know pretty good pretty good but like I say Ashima what were you thinking with these brake discs? I mean even the even these proper ones, there's nothing on them. There's nothing at all on them. Now I'm going to open this one up because not as if I haven't even seen these yet proper, as you can guess, because I'm opening it up. Right. Now, I just hate this. Now this is the parts I really like. Try and get it off without breaking them. There we are. The exhaust pipe. Now look at that. That's a nice bit of chrome. I know it's not what you would call realistic chrome, but if you ever gone to a street racer, um, street racing, or to a, a racer sort of like get together, it's not uncommon to see these sort of things. You know, this type of chrome work and. I used to do a little bit of street racing, you know, going to, you know, going to get togethers and everything like that. We used to go, you know, and uh, you do see stuff like this, very much like this, 
my only big problem is is when you've got this kind of chrome it gets completely ruined by the gate marks and I don't know why companies when they do this they can't just you know, undergate it because it looks a whole lot better undergated you know a whole lot better undergated but there you go it's not our decision is it guys but that looks pretty good now here's the tub I'm going to be putting the nitrous on the back shelf here right. or alternatively I'm going to be putting it probably in here it's a little tricky between the seats here it's probably more likely to be in between the seats because that way I can have this three because I've got one more thing coming which is going to be a bit of a um, may just add a bit more detail to this car but, you know because I'm not going to be using it on the Porsche but I'm going to be using it on this and here we are with the seats and the doors as you can see the seats and the doors are going to be used this part I don't think it is going to be used and nor is this part the normal rear wing but these seats very very nicely made as you can see very nicely done they will of course be completely to what the car I'm doing this basically an uh, OOB I'm not going to change any colours um, so whatever these seats are colour going to be they're going to look nice doors door linings great absolutely great love that dearly now here's some more alternate parts now uh, this is this is absolutely fantastic this you've got a little intercooler radiator here I'm not too sure what that is but we'll find out later on you've got your side wings you know your, you've got your huge I mean absolutely huge rear spoiler there more parts of the spoiler front lip spoilers well front side spoilers for the downforce you've got your wing mirrors and these little babies, turn it over a bit, might be a little bit, are actually, these are actually the hood pins. I mean, that is just great, hood pins. I might actually use those ones because I do have um, some photo wedge ones, but I'm not really keen on them. Besides, they come with a kit, so I might be a little better off with them. Down. And here we are with the last um, sprue. Yep, I showed you the brake discs. And this is another thing. Here's your exhaust. Now I think it's about here you cut the exhaust. And it uses a straight flow as you saw with the chrome part. See? See? It's about that. And it looks pretty nice there. But I'm going to have to get some more chrome paint. But um, some of these parts are very nicely done. I, th I don't know why I've never done a another Ashima car before. I guess it's because they're not all that common where I live in the UK. 
but um, this one was a relatively good price. And hey, Fast and Furious, you know, Dom's car from Fast and Furious, how could you not draw a car build there? You see this. The only thing is, is that they didn't have um, the other hero car, which was the late Paul Walker. As you drove the, I think it was a, I can't remember offhand, um, the orange Bomex, um, it had a Bo I think it had a Bomex um, body kit to it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a Bomex body kit. You can get something that looks similar, but it isn't the same sort of thing, if you know, you know where I'm coming from. So, like I said, this is going to go with a Porsche and I'm going to try and somehow try and do a little diorama. I got now the item I said in the last one was uh, the electroluminescent wire. Well, that's arrived, it's coming red. I'm going to be putting it with this car because I believe this one had um, a red undercar lighting, and I'm not going to do it with the Porsche. The Porsche, I'm just going to leave without it because does not really need it? Not really, in my, in, in my opinion, not really. But hey, I might change my mind again. <coughs> and the bike, I'll give you progress once I start it. Because the Porsche is dragging a little bit. But hey, that's because it's been working a lot. And on top of that, I've got a, uh, well, I haven't got much more to say, except um, hopefully I'll get back to you as soon as I can with another one of these, maybe an update on the Porsche. But um, it may be from a different location because pretty soon I've got my own, I'll be setting up my own little workshop and I'd be basically trying to build that up a little bit. So the camera will be a bit more focused on probably things in the background rather than the sofa or curtains or some such. Maybe a you know, poster here and there of this and that, I don't know. I really don't know. But, um, yeah, we got, like I say, a lot of fun stuff to do and build. And I'm looking forward to, to doing it all and showing it here on my channel. So, Hopefully next time, like I say, I will be putting this out from my um, workshop because that will be going up hopefully within the next, I don't know, month, within, definitely within the next two weeks and maybe the next one I do this will be from that. So anyway, give a bit more of an in-depth in view of the Vertex. Uh, I don't know when I put that up. Oh, sorry. I'm on a little table here, sorry. And I'm going to try and do a bit more work on the Porsche. And then hopefully I can show you guys here. So anyway, this is uh, Benjamin logging off and uh, get back to you maybe next time from my workshop. So, with no further ado, farewell and keep on modeling.